What is going on everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in. It has been so long since I've done a tutorial. It's only been like a week, but it feels like it's been forever and I apologize about that guys. I've been doing a whole bunch of things, but anyways, no excuses. Let's get into this. Today I'm going to be going over the newest Travis Scott album, which honestly was amazing. I thought this album was so much better than his last album. Uh, if he had dropped this, it would have done crazy, but whatever. He still dropped it, so it doesn't matter. Um, the track that I'm going to be recreating or replicating or giving an example is kind of uh, outside and just a mixture of Travis Scott's uh, darkish sound in general. So yeah, and all of the drums that I'm using in this video can be found at thebeatbuffs.com. I'm sure all the sounds I'll be using are there as well. Anyways, let's get into it. I started off with just a melody. I haven't done anything else yet and um, I was still kind of messing with it, but let's see how it sounds. Oh, and I also have the tempo set at 83, which is also just 166, but I just brought it down. And uh, kind of to get this melody, I listen to the outside track and then I just want to get dark sounds right so I had this G4 sharp coming right here because without it it just sounds like this it didn't really sound dark so I think uh, it brought it you know a little bit of darkness I think I'm gonna stick with that melody and um, there was no specific style that I used to get this like I said I just listened and kind of tried to make a similar thing and just I just wanted to have it dark and I know that black keys are always really really good at giving you a dark kind of sound that's why trap music is mostly done in black keys not always the case but you know just for the most part uh, now I'm gonna use these are all the drums in my own drum kit uh, yeah, rat kick. It's free, you know, I'm not gonna charge you guys for drums that aren't mine. That's stupid. I hate when producers do that. So let's see if we can get this. I'm actually going to mute this for a sec. And right now I'm just trying to get a uh, different kind of hi-hat variation. I noticed on that track they were using different notes for the hi-hat, so meaning they were switching it up. And it wasn't like this per se, but I'm just trying to, you know, add my own different little idea to it. So I like that too much.
Now let's extend this out because it's not very far out. Uh, I also got a new keyboard, so it's a little clicky. You guys probably can't even tell, but. And then here's the uh, lead that I'm using. It's from uh, the newest sound bank I just used, which I'm happy to use because I hadn't really had an opportunity to really use it yet. Mostly I was just messing around with it and testing it. But this is what I got. And at first the sound is just like, uh, like this. So I went and I changed the sustain because I noticed on the outside track you had a part where it was like kind of like a gritty guitarish sound that's what I tried to kind of do and let me bring this back down I don't really like it up that high up. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little fun fact, if you guys didn't know, uh, if you try to do the whole control B thing when this part is selected, it'll do this. And it's really annoying, so you gotta make sure it's not selected. And you just do that, and bam. Took me a long time to figure that out. Pretty sad to admit, but. <laughs> Let's start adding this 808 because it's a little in your face. 
just taking out the high end. some of that low rend on the lead but uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the lead uh, check out his new album if you haven't already checked it out it's a great album I'm not really even that big of a fan of Travis Scott but I really like this album so yeah <laughs> one more sound to it I'll stack this pluck with another kind of sound <laughs> sense whoops sorry I forgot that's why the kick didn't have any thump so I put my this and that on the same channel and I took the the low end out of my bed there we go Now I'm going to split it by channel, lay it out a little bit, I'm not going to get too much into that, but let's see how we start out. 
literally would just copy and paste that same thing over just because uh, on outside there wasn't like a crazy variation I know there was a piano in there but I just didn't feel like doing the piano because they were using some cool chords and I'm not Beethoven so uh, yeah but anyways um, I started off obviously with the pluck just because it's an intro and then I immediately dropped it about 11 seconds in because you don't want to have long intros uh, that's another thing if you make beats do not have long intros if you send beats out to artists they are not gonna wait a minute and 38 seconds for that one drop no just make it 15 seconds or less and if you can make it shorter than that that's great um, yeah but I did that right I had it coming right here bars or whatever I believe yeah yeah 16 bars um, just because I know people tell me to do that and then the hook was just kind of whatever I, I guess this could be the hook it doesn't really matter it's music it doesn't matter people always ask me well, where's the hook at uh, wherever you want it to be because it doesn't matter <laughs> So uh, hopefully you guys kind of got a little bit of an understanding on uh, how Travis Scott goes about making his darker kind of melodies. I know that he has a lot of producers on this album, but uh, I know he also produces as well. So I'm sure he had a bunch to do with the production, especially because I always hear he's like a real, um, not necessarily a snob, but he's like real picky about his music, which he should be, you know, it's his music. I don't blame him. Um, but that pretty much has it, guys. There really wasn't a whole bunch of sounds in here. If you listen to Outside, uh, actually, Murda produced that. Uh, Murda and I think somebody else. Uh, there's probably, there was probably like 10 sounds in there at most. So that's always something great to remember. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, I dropped two sound banks the past week and a half for Electra X and Silent One. Uh, the Electra X one is probably my favorite sound variation wise and the silent one is easily my favorite silent one bank that I've made I've only made two but anyways um enough advertising anyways guys hopefully you learned something from this video if you did not please let me know things that I could work on um if you're a super music theory kind of guy and you, you're gonna complain about that then I, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not super into music theory but yeah have a great day guys thanks for watching god bless